so hey guys welcome back once again and in this video i'm just gonna explain you how you can go and build your own image to image workflow on confi ui you can see i was just messing around with vae loader as well and yes definitely in this video i'm just gonna explain you how you can build with lora loader with vae loader and yes the third thing that i'm gonna show you is the latent high res upscaler as well so basically there are three things that i'm gonna create this workflow and you can see i was just using my basic text to image workflow so if you are new to this video Video, I have already created a text to image workflow you can check out that video in that I have already explained a basic from scratch how to build your own workflows and yes let me show you the result as well the reason why I am making with latent high res upscaler as well you can see this was the original image that I was using and yes I was converting into a steampunk style so this is a basic on middle section you can see this is a basic image basic result of image to image section and on extreme right you can see this is a latent high res upscaler scale image you can see there is a lot of difference and lot of details going on over here so that's why i'm making this workflow video with latent high reps upscaler first of all let me thank one of my friend who is creating amazing workflows on my discord server and that's paulo he's creating amazing workflows and like yes you can join and get the workflows from over here just like this latent high res upscale video simple lora multi-control net uh, workflows as well you can see there are multiple of workflows going on so that's why we are working on confi UI and let's get started with image to image section as well now first of all what i will do i will load my basic workflow of text to image and we will work on that as well so let's load it's easy to load this is my simple text to image workflow what i will do i will just drag on to my confi ui this is a basic text to image workflow and now we will start working on image to image section so in image to image section what you need is that first of all you need something that you can put on image into it so what we will do we will try to add that section let's go with add let's go with add node and in add node section you will go you can go to image section after going on to image section you will find load image so basically you can put on to image over here so the next thing that you need to add is something that you can encode this image in order to add that just go on add and in add you can go on to latent and on latent section you will find vae encode basically in order to encode this image that you will put basically we are ready with image to image section so now in order to connect this thing first thing that you need to do you need to connect image onto pixels and the next thing that you need to encode this image into like the image output on this section case sample so basically now it is connected and one thing that is remaining is vae right over here so let's connect the vae over here so now i will tell you this will not work first of all the reason to this will not work is because i have already connected vae loader over here as well and you can see i was using a custom vae over here okay first of all let's go with some of the image let's upload image over here we will go with something like this let's go with any of the image so basically i have used the image let me show you you can right click over here you can open image and this is the image we are using right so yeah that's the image we are using and what we will do first we will go with a cybernetic style over here and let's see if this vae works or not let's try to generate and let's see what result do we get now so now guys as you can see this is the image that i got and we were using Using this image right so basically what i learned was that this vae that we connected with the checkpoint and on your output section as you can see we were using custom vae as well so basically this is not generating the exact result so what i will do we will not connect we will disconnect this vae and now what i will do let's come let's move this vae loader over here and let's connect this vae to this you can see over here load image this is the image that i am using confi ui let's go now we have already connected vae loader on vae encode and now let's see what result do we get okay let's try to generate with cybernetic style only and let's see now so now basically guys as you can see after connecting my vae loader this is the result that i got and yes if i show you this was the original image and you can see after putting on to cybernetic style this is the image that i got so basically if you are using vae loader then you need to connect vae onto vae encode on image to image section that's the main thing that and the first thing that you need to do and the important thing that you need to understand this as well so that's the first thing and important thing that i figured out so basically now image to image section is completed as well and what we will do we will try to add group over here we will try to create some group like this let's go with some group and yeah we are done with the group as well we will try to create 
so basically our image to image section is completed as well and now we will go on adding high res upscaler as well so what we will do we will try to add the nodes first we will add the latent upscale let's go and let's add it so this is basically a latent upscaler and the next thing that you need to do is add the samplers okay you need the samplers in order to sample this that image latent image so what we will do we will clone it over here or you can add directly as well so we will clone this and we will try to move on to over here you can clone this as well basically all of this part is same you can clone this as well and you can clone this as well now what we will do we will try to move it over here and we will try to move this as well over here so basically a latent high res upscaler workflow is also complete and now we will try to connect this see look closely what we need is that this image image to image image right we need this output so we will connect this latent onto this samples so basically our image to image output from this section is completed over here and this will go to latent image so this is now connected and first of all let's connect this as well over here and this as well over here the next thing is we need to connect positive and negative prompt as well see this is a positive prompt this is a negative prompt so let's connect that let's connect that let's connect this as well over here so the positive and negative prompt is connected the remaining is model where you will get the model you will get the model from this section okay let's connect this model on this section so now everything is connected and we will go on to increasing this ratio let's go with 1024 by 1024 so this is now completed as you can see image to image section text to image section and latent high res fix as well and now let's try to generate the image and let's see what result do we get with cyberpunk style okay so let's generate and let's see what result do we get so guys as you can see this is the result that i got if i show you this is the result that i got on image to image section and you can see over here this is the result that i got on latent high res fix as well what we will try to do is that we will try to change this image let's go with different image let's go with this image as you can see let me show you this image as well open image so this is the basic image that we are using and this time we will go with we will try to increase denoising strength let's go with denoising strength uh, 0. Point. so we will go 0. 0.65 we will change all our ancestral caras and over here as well we will go with all our ancestral and now let's see what result do we get so now guys as you can see uh, this is the result that i got after i went on cybernetic style and yes this was the original image so i think so the noise level is very high and you can see this is a upscale result latent high res fix result we will try to reduce the denoising strength as well now we will check with 0.45 and now let's see what result do we get same prompt you can see cybernetic style prompt and yeah let's see what result do we get now so guys as you can see this is the result that i got after changing on to denoising strength and yes you can see this was the prompt that i was using cybernetic style and yeah this was the denoising strength that we set already 0 0.450 and yes if i show you see this is the result that i got image to image section and i will show you the different as well you can see this was the original image that we were using and this is an image to image section result and you can see this is a latent high res fix result let me know in the coming section which result is better this image to image section or this image this was the very detailed image as well over here latent high res fix image has a lot of details so that's why i made this video with image to image section and latent high res fix as well so you can go and work around with and build your own workflows over here and yes definitely get an amazing result with latent high res fix so guys that's how you can set up your image to image section with latent high res fix as well okay you can see text to image section image to image section and latent high res fix result as well and if you want to save this you can save it as well i have already been saving like these are my four of the workflows that i have already saved and you can save it as well i am saving it as image to image latent high res fix and you can save it and you can use it on another run as well if you want so that's way you can go and generate your own uh, workflows on confi ui and that's the thing that i wanted to explain and yes guys i will be back with more and more videos tomorrow till then have a good day bye guys love you all guys bye guys